Did you know that France is completely undeserving of its seat as a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council? Shockingly, we have been deceived for years that only those countries that emerged victorious after the Second World War merited this exclusive UN privilege. Yet France was never one of the victors because it was invaded by Nazi Germany soon after the war began. On June 22, 1940, just eight months after the war started, the French leader, Marshal Philippe Pétain, signed the surrender document. In a meeting with Adolf Hitler, soon thereafter, Pétain officially announced the policy of collaboration with Nazi Germany, believing that improving relations with Germany was the only viable way to save France. The French police were soon rounding up Jews in France, resulting in at least 72,500 French Jews being killed in Nazi concentration camps. France remained under German occupation for the next four years until it was finally liberated by the American-led Allied forces in 1944. This swift and humiliating collapse of France in 1940 shattered its image as a great power because the country effectively became a puppet state that collaborated with Nazi Germany throughout the war. The real victors who bore the brunt of the war effort and sacrificed the most were the Soviet Union, the United Kingdom, the United States, and China. These were the countries that truly earned their place on the UN Security Council. And even before the war ended, the real victors of the war were drafting plans for a new international order. In 1942, the Declaration of the United Nations saw 26 countries come together, pledging to fight against the Axis powers led by Germany. France, however, was conspicuously absent because it was under Nazi occupation and therefore lacked a legitimate government. This exclusion was not just a matter of circumstances, but a reflection of France's diminished status. Later on, in international forums such as the Dumbarton Oaks Conference in 1944, where the future of global peace was being shaped, France had no seat at the table. Even when France was finally brought back into the fold, it was not out of recognition of its war contributions or power. Rather, it was a reluctant concession influenced by political maneuvering, especially by the domineering French leader Charles de Gaulle. The British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, recognizing the humiliation that France had suffered, advocated for its return to a position of power by including it among the war victors. But this return was not based on merit. It was merely a favor granted to a fallen ally. The formation of the United Nations in 1945 was intended to be a beacon of hope, a promise of peace, and a safeguard against the horrors of another world war. But today, the reality of its power structure tells a different story, one marred by injustice and exclusion of the global south. Nowhere is this more evident than in the undeserved permanent membership of France in the UN Security Council. Today, the calls for UN reform are growing louder, particularly from Africa, which has long been marginalized in international decision making. The current composition of the UN Security Council, dominated by the five permanent members, the United States, the United Kingdom, Russia, China and France, is an outdated relic of a bygone era. It fails to reflect the modern world's realities, where emerging powers and regions deserve a voice. France's current position 
on the UN Security Council is particularly puzzling given its diminished role in global affairs. With a population of just 67 million, France is not even the most powerful country in Europe, a title that belongs to Germany. Recent events like France's colonial setbacks in Africa and its intransigence on issues like the conflict in Ukraine further highlight its declining influence and inability to lead world affairs. As we look to the future, it is clear that the current structure of the UN Security Council needs to change. France's permanent seat, granted out of pity and political maneuvering rather than merit, should be reconsidered. It is time for the voices of the Global South to be heard and for the UN Security Council to truly reflect the diverse and dynamic world we live in. Thanks for watching viewers. I genuinely appreciate your support. So what do you think about France being a permanent member of the UN Security Council? Please leave your comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more insightful videos about Africa. Until next time, bye bye.